Hi, Calvary Kids. Pastor Chris here. I miss you guys so much. I would love to uh, be with you all, and I, I hope that you are all well, and that you are uh, getting special time as a family, that you're getting outdoors, that you're riding bikes, playing games together, that you're still trying to learn and do your schoolwork. I know that it's been quite an adjustment for our family, and I know my kids have lots of energy, so we've been trying to make sure that we get outside. But we also want to try to make sure that we're praying together as families, that we're reading God's Word, that we're talking about God and all of the situation that's going on with this pandemic. And today, we're going to hear of John the Baptist and how he prepared the way for Jesus, telling people that they needed to repent from their sins. And some of the people that listened to John the Baptist uh, felt like John and Jesus were competing, but John the Baptist did not feel that way. His, his message was preparing the way for Jesus because Jesus is greater than he. He understood that. He understood that his message was just one from earth, from a man that he had received from God. But Jesus' message was from heaven and that Jesus is from heaven. So whatever we're going through, whatever we're facing, we have Jesus advocating for us, looking out on our behalf. And so there's a song in uh, today's video that we're going to start to learn. We're going to sing together. And when we all get back together, we're going to try to sing it together. It's called Jesus Strong and Kind. And so whatever you're going through, whatever you're feeling, you can always run to Jesus. You can always go to him because uh, he is for us. He's for you. He loves you. And so this week, I want you guys to ask yourself, what can you do to show Jesus honor? What can you do this week to show Jesus honor? John the Baptist showed Jesus honor when Jesus came to be baptized. And, and John said, no, no, I shouldn't baptize you. You should be baptizing me. And so I, he said, I'm not even worthy to carry your sandals. So how can you show the Lord honor this week? There's a couple things that come to mind for me. I think that you could obey mom and dad. That you could look for ways to uh, help with chores, help with getting things done around the house so that you can demonstrate that you you honor your parents because the Bible tells us to, to honor your parents in the sight of the Lord. And so we need to uh, do our best to try to listen to mom and dad. And it's tough because we don't get to see our friends and we don't get to school and, and the same routine being uh, <clears throat> home a lot more and having to do school from home can be really tough. But we want to show the Lord honor. So I'm excited to hear about some of the ways that you are working to come up with ways that you can honor Jesus this week. Jesus said that if I fear, I 
This song is Miracle of Love. Now you guys, this song has a lot of jumping and dancing, so I wanna see you guys getting warmed up. Can you guys jump up and down? Good job. Now this is all about what Jesus did for us, that he came and died on the cross for our sins. So you guys, as we sing this song out to him, let's worship Jesus and tell him how much we love him. Okay, let's sing, it's a new day. It's a new day, a new day, love has won. With this sacrifice.
the dance again, so let me see you jump. And let's put our hands up in the air. And let's spin around. All right, you guys, we're gonna sing some O's. So I wanna hear you sing them out really loud. Sing this miracle of love. Put your hands up. So rejoice in Jesus. He makes all things new. Sing that out again. He makes all things new. All right, you guys. Great job worshiping Jesus. Jesus and his disciples went out into the countryside. People came to see them, and Jesus taught the people. Many people were baptized. Nearby, John the Baptist was baptizing people too. Some of the people who followed John got into an argument. They went to John. Teacher, they said, remember the man you talked about, the one who was with you on the other side of the Jordan River? His disciples are baptizing people, and people are starting to follow him. John's followers were talking about Jesus. John answered them, You heard me say that I am not the Messiah. I am the messenger who goes before him to announce that he is coming. This was true. John had said, Someone greater than me is coming. I am not worthy to remove his sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. John tried to explain by talking about a wedding. When two people get married, the man who marries the bride is the groom. His friend stands with him at the wedding, and he is happy to be there and hear the groom's voice. John also knew that a wedding is the groom's special day. The groom's friend should not make it about himself. This was how John felt, like a groom's friend because he was happy that Jesus, the Messiah, had come. John said, Jesus must increase, but I must decrease. Then John explained why Jesus was more important than himself. John was from the earth, and he could only talk about things on earth. Jesus, the one who comes from heaven, talked about things in heaven because he had seen them. Still, no one believed what Jesus said. Whoever believes Jesus knows that God tells the truth. God sent Jesus to earth, and Jesus speaks God's words. The Father loves the Son and has given him power over everything. Whoever believes in the Son will have eternal life, but whoever refuses to believe in the Son will not have eternal life. He will never be able to get away from God's judgment. John the Baptist told people to get ready for Jesus, the promised Messiah. Now that Jesus was on earth, John's mission was complete. Jesus was greater than John, and John joyfully stepped aside as Jesus began his earthly ministry. Hey there, I'm Pastor Brian, and it's time for questions from kids. Charles from Baltimore, Maryland asks, Is it wrong to want to be famous? Charles, I think the answer for this is both a yes and a no, because it really depends on why you want to be famous. Now, we know there's nothing wrong with being famous. Think about today's Bible story. John the Baptist, he was really well known. He, he was famous, if you want to think about it that way. And so there's nothing wrong with that. But notice what John did. He took his fame and he used it to point to Jesus. And when Jesus began his ministry, John even backed away. He said, no, 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 don't focus on me. Focus on Jesus. The only reason why I had a following was so that I could point to him anyway. And so he gives us this great model of what it looks like to be famous and use that fame to point to God's glory. And so there's the question, why do you want to be famous? 
If you want to be famous so that you can be like John and point lots of people to who Jesus is, man, I think that's great. I think that's a great desire. Uh, God can use you greatly for His glory. However, if you want to be famous to make a name for yourself, then that would be wrong. That's selfishness. That's desiring your own glory instead of God's glory. So we have to really be careful about why we do. And this is a big idea for a lot of what we talk about as we study the Bible. It's not just about what we do, but why we do it as well. So think about that. Let, let that kind of marinate in your heart. Why do you want to be famous? And again, if the answer is for God's glory, then man, that's a good thing. But if the answer is for your glory, then you want to turn away from that and kind of put that desire to death and, and turn toward the gospel instead and recognize, no, we're here to make much of Jesus, not to make much of ourselves. So here's a question back for you. How is God's glory more important than our own? This song is 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4. Let's start by swaying side to side. Now you guys, this song is all about the story of what Jesus did for us. So as we're singing, I want you to think about how Jesus did this all for you. Let's sing together. Christ died for our sins. Sing just as the scriptures. Just as the scriptures. Just as the scriptures says. Sing that again. Christ died for our sins. Christ died for our sins. Just as the scriptures. Just as the scriptures. Just as the scriptures says. He was buried. He was raised. From the dead on the third day. Just as the scriptures. Just as the scriptures, just as the scriptures, just as the scriptures says, he was buried, he was raised from the dead on the third day, just as the scriptures. Hi Calvary Kids, thanks for watching. I hope that you were blessed and encouraged by today's message. I pray that you are enjoying learning these new songs and singing and worshiping. I pray that you find that Jesus Strong and Kind is a song that you're gonna sing frequently and that you, you sing to yourself, that you sing together as a family. We're gonna sing this song again over the next couple weeks. So uh, remember, whatever you're feeling, whatever you're going through, go to Jesus. He's for you. Have a great week and talk to you later.